What's up guys, Dre House here, and today we are covering Kate, the fiery Irish woman. She's a cage fighter that loves her chems and can be found in the combat zone. You'll first encounter her fighting another man to the death as raiders look on and cheer. And that concludes this round. Kate is the undisputed winner! And who's this? Wait, who let you... Buddy, I'd find some cover, quick! The hell? Kill Looks him. like someone did... Oh. Got time to ruin it! Oh. One was ugly anyway. You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn cow. Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight, didn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. Oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm? now. no. You know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. a girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminate his feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, Kate? So, you're ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Her primary weapons are the double barrel shotgun and the baseball bat. She's really quite scrappy up close with these weapons, so get used to her running into the fray. Her companion perk is Trigger Rush, 
which increases action point regeneration when the player is below 25% health. Kate is special because she's able to pick master locks. Her ability to pick locks makes her ideal for builds that neglect spending points in Perception and Locksmith. However, keep in mind that Kate is real good at breaking lock picks, so you want to make sure she has plenty Where equipped. You want me to help with that lock, or any lock for that matter. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Hey. I'll get it done. Go check that out. I'll get it done. Finally, a bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Got it. Lastly, Kate can be romanced. To really make her heart melt, you'll want to act like a bad boy that abuses chems, steals, and puts others down now and then. However, she dislikes chem use after you do her main quest. She also loves it when you run around naked. You can boost up your relationship with her pretty fast by fast traveling back and forth between settlements while naked. The relationship gain has an internal cooldown, so it'd be a good idea to wait about 24 hours after every travel. Alright guys, the rest of this is the relationship dialogue building up to the quest. There is one conversation with her that I wasn't able to get, no matter how hard I tried to trigger it. And for those of you just interested in the romance quest itself, skip to 10 minutes and 20 seconds. you're not expecting me to take my kid off too. I'm not Have a that minute. easy. Got something on my mind. Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss, but I called it home. I was making a few caps, had me own bed to sleep in, and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what, give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what I are never friends thought for? I'd be saying this, but I... But I really need your help. What's the matter, Kate? Everything is the matter. We're friends now. Which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Cause I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I wanna help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not gonna be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, 
All I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Kate's romance quest is located at Vault 95. The guards can be kind of tough, and you'll need to dispatch them before heading inside. Sensor alert. After you dispatch the guards, take the elevator down into the vault. Once down here, disarm the mines and take out the guards in the next room. After you've taken out all the guards, head up the stairs and make your way towards the overseer's chambers. Looks like they had their support meetings in the overseer's office. Sitting around and telling everyone else my problems isn't my idea of fun. Access the overseer's terminal to unlock the wing that leads to the clean room. You wouldn't catch me dead at one. Head back out to the main area and enter the wing that you just unlocked. Use the terminal to open the door and fight the gunner commander to gain access to the clean room. This must be it. The clean room. <clears throat> the answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. If you don't go in there, you could die. I know. I know. But what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. We'll face that pain together. You... You've already done so much, but you keep offering to do more. Well, who the hell am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. Are you all right, Kate? How are you feeling? Strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels... different. Everything feels... 
clearer. Colors, sounds, smells. Nothing is like I remember. I... I can't believe it worked. The cravings, the pain, hell, even the rush. They've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up, and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. I take care of my friends. I know you do. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Now, how about we get out of here and we leave this place far behind? I think we should talk. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then... What you did for me back there at Fault 95. It was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? Because you're special to me, Kate. And I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. You... You really mean that? This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you. I mean to make the most of it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm currently working on the other companion videos as well, and they should be out soon. Thanks for watching guys.